Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to restore your old, dingy, yellow looking headlights to make them look like brand new and restore the whole entire look of your front end. So over time, basically your headlights, they start getting oxidized and they start getting this yellow film over them and it makes it look super freaking ugly. I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove that whole nasty, grimy layer off your headlights and make them look like they rolled straight off the lot. So as you guys can see, my headlights don't look the worst. But honestly, over time, they started to get pretty bad to where they have like this yellow film of oxidation over them. And it just looks pretty freaking ugly. You can see here in the corner, all these little speckles and stuff. None of that will freaking wipe off because it's gotten all oxidized over. So what I'm going to be going ahead and doing today is I'm going to be going and removing all that oxidation off my headlights, making them look like brand new. And I'm go ahead and show you guys step by step how you can do this to your own car. So this is about $3 really anywhere at Walmart, etc. Basically a thousand is what we're gonna hit it with first. So we're gonna work our way up to 2,500 to polish it out. And after that, we're gonna clear coat it. Next we have our Restorium Wipe New Kit. So this, out of all the headlight kits I've used, has proven to actually restore the best in my opinion, to be honest, with prior sanding. It really just comes with this little clear coat pack. It has like some solution here. It works as a clear coat. And we're basically just gonna sand it down. And then after we sand it, we're gonna clear it off with this wipe new. So that's basically all we're gonna do. Sand it down, make sure we get rid of all that grime, and then we're gonna go ahead and lock it in with this wipe new and let it dry for the rest of the day. You're gonna need a bottle of warm water. This is gonna be a wet sand. So you have to keep spraying along as you go. Don't do this dry or you'll leave a whole bunch of permanent marks in the headlight. All right, and then arguably one of the most important things that we're gonna have to do before we start this is just tape everything off. Then we're gonna tape off the fender and then down there on the bumper. That way you don't sand and leave a whole bunch of marks or haziness on there. All right guys, so we went ahead and taped off the other side. So now we're gonna just go ahead and hop in straight to the sanding portion. So this is an assorted pack. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is get the 1000 grit sandpaper. Bam, 1000 grit. Go ahead and spray this down. And spray the sandpaper down. Here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just tear this in half, basically because we have to do the other side also. Go ahead and we're gonna start sanding. And when we sand, we're gonna come across one way and we're gonna go ahead and sand efficiently. Then we're gonna go up and down, across, and then up and down again. And to be more effective on the E90, it has these little eyebrow things that come out right here. They're just weather strips, really. I would take these off just like that so you can get all the oxidation off underneath them. And you basically want to go until you have a very hazy consistency. So this right here indicates that it still has some clear on it. So we're going to go ahead and sand that and go across until this is all equally hazy. The hazier this looks, the better it's actually going to end up at the end. All right, so we got that uniform haziness that we're going to go for or that we're looking for. So now we're going to step up from the 1000 to the 1500 grit. So same thing, split it in half, though I have a piece to do the other side basically. And we're going to go ahead and get this wet. Bam. And what the 1500 is going to do is all the scratches basically that the 1000 left, because the 1000 is so much more coarse, it's going to go ahead and basically buff those out a bit, and then 2000, 2500 is going to polish it. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to our 2000 grit. From there, we're going to 25, and then after that, we can go ahead and apply our clear coat. All right, guys, so now we have it nice and hazy. The 2000 went ahead and knocked that out. The hazier it is, the better. So from here, we're going to go and hit it with some 2500, and that should knock it off. Go ahead and take all the tape off, dry it all off, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and clear coat it out with our little wipe new. All 
this is exactly what we're looking for right here. It's basically just overall haziness. And from here, once we clear it, it's gonna look freaking great. Should restore down to being completely clear. So all we're gonna go ahead and do is wipe that clear coat on. Take off all this tape. Reason being is I don't want any of that clear coat touching any of the water on this. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this off because if the water mixes with the clear coat, it's gonna affect the pad that we use. This will have a whole bunch of plastic particles in it, so you don't want to just wipe it off. You want to actually spray this all down. Try to get as much of it to come off on its own as you can. All right, so now moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and use our Rust-Oleum Wipe New, the actual clear coat portion of it. We'll go ahead and restore the headlight lens, and you are going to see how good this is going to look. Once it starts to dry, if you touch back over it, it's gonna look really bad. Just like that, guys. Look how much better that looks. Boys, they turned out absolutely freaking amazing. They look like brand new. I mean, look at that. They look freaking amazing, guys. I'm super, super hyped about the way these turned out. I mean, they literally look like brand new off the lot. Like you could not even be able to tell that this car is almost a decade old. So honestly, restores the entire look of the front end. Just so much clarity, looks freaking great. Like I said, guys, headlights turned out freaking great. Super stoked about how they ended up. If y'all found this video helpful, go ahead and drop a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any issues or any questions at all. So if you mess up during the process or you don't wanna mess up, drop a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button so y'all can catch more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next video. Peace.